Hello, I'm Becky Barge, Senior News and Social Media Reporter of Cosmetics Business. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you to Cosmetics Business in conversation with GoBiotics. Today, I'm joined by Patrick Gonry, Business Development Manager at GoBiotics. Hello, Patrick, how are you? Hello, Becky, I'm doing fine, thank you. That's great to hear, great to hear. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. You're welcome. And so tell us, I mean, what is GoBiotics and, and why did you decide to launch? Well, GoBiotics is a, is a Belgium Dutch company that started in 2003. And during these 17 years, we developed different natural vegan raw materials to support the skin, vaginal, and also the oral microbiome. Because we see the microbiome as an essential part of us. We, for that reason, we invest uh, a lot of time in scientific testing to prove the efficacy, but also to understand more and more the mechanism behind our ingredients. And we wanted to launch these ingredients because we are convinced that using products that take care for the microbiome will solve, actually will avoid a great deal of beauty concerns and skin problems. Actually, you could say that our ingredients are nipping the problem in the butt. Okay. Yes, I mean, so, I mean, following on from that, you know, how, how is GoBiotics, GoBiotics revolutionizing, you know, this beauty category? Um, GoBiotics focus on educating the consumer and the customer into human biology. Actually, if you look at our ingredients, they are not just products but each of them is a small lesson in microbiology, uh, a discovery in the invisible and fascinating world of the microorganisms and how they react, interact uh, with us. And so how is GoBiotics revolutionizing this beauty category? Well, GoBiotics focus on uh, educating the customer and the consumer into human biology. If you look at our ingredients, they are not just uh, products, but each of them is a small, unique lesson in microbiology, uh, actually a discovery into the invisible and fascinating world of the microorganisms and their interaction with us. We were therefore the first to develop a cosmetic prebiotic, especially for babies and also for intimate hygiene with real in vivo proof. We were again the first to launch a hygienic prebiotic, tested in vivo with the latest DNA technology. And now we are again the first to launch a prebiotic for oral care. And all these ingredients, they have one thing in common. They make you stronger. They make you more resistant so that bad things will not happen or maybe more unlikely to happen. And should your skin or, or your teeth or gum be in a challenging environment, like for instance, using alcohol on the skin, then our ingredients will make your skin stronger so that the damage is less or that there is even no damage. Great. I mean, that sounds you know, very innovative. So, I mean, are these products quite expensive? Um, actually, we believe not because it's our goal that our our ingredients are affordable, even for the mass market. Um, we really want that everyone can enjoy and profit from our developments, not just the happy few. So it are not really exclusive products. Mm, that's great to hear. And you briefly talked about, you know, you know, taking care of your, your oral care in particular. And why is that so important? Well, the mouth is a really special place. It's first of all, it's the, the gateway to our body, but also we do something special with our mouth. On purpose, we uh, expose it to pathogens and external microorganisms. And we do that each second of the day by inhaling air. And this air contains fungi and spores, but also several times a day, we put uh, not sterilized food in our mouth. So I would say the gatekeeper of all the gatekeepers in our body is definitely the oral microbiome. It uh, influences, um, actually protects directly and indirectly our general health and our overall beauty. 
Of course, when you think about oral care, uh, we all think about the attractiveness of white teeth and the repulsive effect of a bad smell, a bad breath smell, I mean. But actually taking care of your oral microbiome goes beyond all that. For instance, your oral microbiome in your mouth uh, regulates your blood pressure, indirectly, of course. Also, um, an oral microbiome out of balance is associated with sicknesses like diabetes, uh, obesity. And every second of the day, without that you know it, your oral microbiome is fighting for you against viruses, microorganisms that can cause you terrible diseases. And yes, we do get sick, but it's just the top of the iceberg because without this oral microbiome, we would be sick all the time. Yeah. So it is really important. Yeah, I mean, of course, when you think about it, it's, you know, it's so important, but you know, what, why do consumers not pay as much attention to their oral care as they do as, you know, for example, skincare? Well, maybe it's the fault of our mother because we do not really consider oral care as beauty care. Uh, it's something more as a habit. Remember when you were a little girl, your mother said, brush your teeth, uh, brush your teeth before you go to bed. It's something that is a habit. We don't see it as something for beauty. On the other hand, the oral industry is very small. Only a few producers are making toothpaste uh, or uh, mouthwashes. On the other hand, there are zillion producers who are making skincare and hair care. So communicating on skin and hair, you have a bigger audience. So it's much more interesting. And last but not least, it's a bit of boring industry because uh, there are not many new ingredients. It's very basic. It's scrubbing actually your teeth. And also if you want to launch a new ingredient in that area, you have to face safety aspects, but also legislation is very strict. So that's why our ingredient took many years to, to bring it on the market because of all the challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gosh, I mean, do you think that now, you know, consumer attitudes towards healthcare and supplements, you know, have changed a lot since COVID-19? Yes, I never saw such a change in such a short time. Mm -hmm. And actually it starts with our own industry. Um, now there is much more interest in uh, and focus on protecting the skin from viruses, of course, and microorganisms. But the research goes much further because uh, we are also looking to use sustainable antimicrobial uh, agents because alcohol is very good, but you cannot use it every day. It will destroy your skin. So the focus in our industry and in research is on mild hand washes, mild shower gels, but not less performing. Mm -hmm. And I also see that there is almost no developments in new pigments for makeup this year. So for, the interest from the industry goes to protection, but also the consumer is less interested in skin aging and more in, uh, in skin protection. So both we change, the industry and the consumer, in a very short period. Yeah, yeah, it has been a real, a real turnaround in such a short period of time. Yes. And what can we expect to see from GoBiotics going into 2021? Well, of course, we will launch our prebiotic prebiotic oral for um, the oral microbiome. So through the oral microbiome, we will protect your teeth and gums from actually from sugar. But also we will focus more and more on, uh, on probiotics and of course on reducing our CO2 footprint because we also the documentary of David Attenborough and uh, yeah, it lingers on. So we really want to work on that too great excellent well thank you so much patrick for explaining more about your brand it's been an absolute pleasure having you on cosmetics business in conversation with GoBiotics. well the pleasure is all mine because i really like to talk about our ingredients yeah. so thank you very much becky you're very welcome thank you and if you'd like to discover more interviews with companies like GoBiotics from across the beauty industry, head to our YouTube channel and hit subscribe or visit cosmeticsbusiness.com.